My name is Wayne Alberts. I'm the owner of this wonderful little peep. Today is the day we are going to be heading down to Louisville. It'll be the world's biggest truck show, Mass 2017. At that show will be in the show and shine. Bob, the owner of Little Big Rig, will come and visit with me and bring the actual two girls who actually made this truck. And they will get to see the truck for the first time in its complete stage. Wow, this is unbelievable, the way he's finished this truck out. It's probably the best truck that's come out of my shop in eight years. And it's all Wayne's work. He's just customized it to uh, suit what he wanted. It's Wayne's world. Uh, we build the basic trucks and uh, when we ship them out, that's the last we see them until we might run into a customer at a show or something like that. I get great pleasure out of seeing what these guys do with the trucks and, and the way they finish them out after I've shipped them. My 96 Dodge that I used to drag race with was the donor vehicle. It provided the engine, running chassis, and I delivered that to Bob's at littlebigrig.com in Nashville. Believe it or not, I wish you would meet the young ladies that can build the entire unit from the ground up. In my case, it was taking my body off, my engine and transmission out, completely cleaning the frame, painting the frame, and reinstalling everything. And these are wonderful ladies that do a fine job. Did you guys build this truck? Sure did, from the ground up. So what kind of, you got a Duramax in it? No, that's a, that's a coming. <laughs> we blow people's minds when they find out that it's actually ladies that build these trucks. Now this is a real dirty job, but somebody has to do it. It stinks, it itches, clogs my pores. <laughs> Started working for my dad a little over nine years ago. He has taught me everything that I know, and uh, now every once in a while we butt heads. It's hard to tell who's the boss. <laughs> so. And it's up to me to teach the girls. This actually was my first turnkey that I did. Ready to drive off the lot. I'm very proud of this truck. These girls really bust their ass getting these things done and getting the trucks out the door. It's great. The girls are more particular about the finish and the way they put the fiberglass and all that together and do the body work. Probably much more so than guys because they have the patience for it. The most important or the most fun is that you can do that burnout on a dry pavement and smoke those tires as much as you want, as long as you want. With a thousand horsepower at your command, it will just burn the tires to the ground sitting there if you wanted to. This is a 12 valve engine out of my 96 Dodge. From that 12 valve, we have done cam work, fuel pump work, head work, as well as the twin turbo mounting. And that's backed up by Dave Gorin, fully race capable automatic with a line lock of my invention. The truck will run about 120 miles an hour and a quarter mile, and it looks good when it's doing it. That's the most important part. My wife, Jerry, fully supports this vehicle. It's my husband's passion, and I'm more than happy to support him on it, though I'd rather be home reading a book. But uh, it's been a passion for his, and it's a cute little thing. You gotta love it once you see it. Our driveway is full of rubber from him during burnouts, and our neighbors absolutely love us because of that. This is the rubber left on the truck after a really nice burnout. That's what it's all about. It's all about supporting each other when you get married and enjoying each other's company and traveling a little bit. And this is our baby, so I hope you enjoy it. I make sure that she gets full credit for everything she does because I could not have done this without her.